In previous lesson we've learned how to add to the cart but if you notice here those two buttons are not working and that number is a static and not refer to the sum of those two numbers and also we want to add some space here so in this lesson we're gonna make this button work the plus and we're gonna handle that number two to make it get the sum of those two products and add some space here and the next lesson we're gonna learn how to remove from the cart okay let's get started in our new order screen here in SRC screens new order screen now we are in new order screen we're gonna use this function to add to the cart and use this function to remove from the cart okay so inside handle item add let's dispatch our add item action so let's use our dispatch first this equals to use dispatch okay and inside handle item add let's dispatch our action that action is dispatch that action is called add item we have used before in the previous lesson we have created before in the previous lesson okay and just give him the item where we get this item from we're gonna pass it as a parameter and take it as an argument from this function so on add let's create here a function and just and just pass the item here as an argument like that okay let's press save and test if we press here great we can increase press again great we can increase here and here too look we can increase the quantities now let's fix this this number I want to make this number this 20 equals to the sum of those two numbers okay let's search for this 20 yes that's the 20 it's a static value if we just make it 10 it will be 10 we want to make it the sum of those so let's use our reduce method reduce the JavaScript method that allow us to get the sum of numbers from array of objects okay so let's create a constant called const true sum equals to item items dot reduce what are those items we can get those items from our global state as you've learned before we can use use selector so let's create a const use selector it takes the state of type root state and we're gonna return state dot cart and inside our cart let's pick the items okay so now we get the items from our global state so now let's use our reduce method reduce ACC this ACC is referred to accumulator this accumulator that accumulates the results okay so now that our first argument is the accumulator and the second argument is item item here refer to each item of those items okay what are we gonna do from those items or for each item we're gonna return our accumulator and we're gonna just increase it with item dot price okay and we want to return the initial value the initial value is gonna be zero okay now let's press save and let's take this total sum and go down here and replace it with 10 and let's see oh <laughs> that's a big number we have a bug here look that's 99999 it's not a well formatted so we need to format them so to format them let's use our text okay so let's use to fixed and just put two now it looks much better isn't it now let's try to test let's try to reload our app and let's try to add this KFC and this french fries and let's see 
Perfect. We can get the sum of those two items. Let's increase by 9.50. We got a bug here. I know where the problem. We add the accumulator to the price. We need to add them to the sum, not to price. Okay, so let's press save. Now it works perfectly. Now let's test again. Let's reload our app. Let's just add th three of that. Two, three, and let's go. Great, the sum is perfectly correct. Let's add two of that. Okay, the sum is correct. Let's try to increase from here. It got increased here too. Look, let's add 28. Great, it worked perfectly. 38, 38, not 28. Let's try. Now those are the sum. 47 plus 197 equals to 244. The sum is perfectly correct. Just don't forget to add here the sum, not the price. It was my it was my wrong. Sorry for that mistake. Okay. Now our last mission in this lesson to have some some space here. It's the easiest thing that we're gonna do in this lesson. Just let's add a save area view. Save area view. Let's wrap it from here. And let's reformat our code. Let's test it in Android. Because save area view works only in iOS, okay? That's our Android app. Let's test it. Let's just add three of them and one of that great the UI is perfect the sum is correct and we can add here and add to great everything work, works perfectly in Android and iOS wait for the next lesson we're gonna learn how to decrease how to make that this pattern work thanks for watching and see you in next lesson